Avoid this mistake if you want to protect your peace, letting others cross your boundaries unchecked. Did you know that every time you allow someone to overstep your limits or manipulate your decisions, you lose a little piece of yourself? It's subtle at first, a lingering resentment, a growing sense of unease, but over time it chips away at your mental health, relationships and confidence. The truth is, boundaries aren't just about keeping negativity out. They're about building a life that aligns with your values, preserves your energy, and honors your integrity. And yet, so many people avoid setting boundaries because they fear conflict, rejection, or being labeled as difficult. But what if I told you that setting firm boundaries and prioritizing your peace could be the most empowering decisions you'll ever make? In this video, we're diving deep into why boundaries matter, how to spot when your peace is at risk, and the transformative power of living in alignment with your values. If you're tired of feeling drained, overlooked, or stuck in patterns that no longer serve you, keep watching. This is about reclaiming your time, energy, and inner harmony. Let's get started. Number 1. Spot the signs of deception. Imagine the joy of a carefree childhood when trust came naturally. Back then, lies seemed like small mischiefs, like a friend sneaking an extra cookie and claiming innocence. But as adults, deception isn't so innocent. It weaves through relationships, workplaces, and even social media, leaving behind confusion and betrayal. Let's delve deeper into the art of spotting deception equipping you with the clarity and confidence to navigate a world that often blurs truth and falsehood. At its core, deception thrives on subtlety. It's not always a grand lie, but often a collection of small, inconsistent details. For example, think of a co-worker who claims they've been busy all week, yet can't explain what they've been working on. These inconsistencies are like puzzle pieces that don't quite fit. Spotting deception requires sharpening your ability to notice such irregularities. Body language that doesn't align with words, a lack of eye contact, or an overly rehearsed story. Now, let's walk down memory lane. Recall a time when you felt something was off, but couldn't quite pinpoint it. Maybe it was a partner's vague response about their day or a friend dodging a simple question that nagging gut feeling, it was your intuition picking up on something your conscious mind missed. Nostalgia reminds us that the ability to detect lies isn't new, it's something we've always had but can hone further. Curiosity comes alive when you think about what this skill could unlock. What if you could understand people better? What if you could read between the lines of conversations or detect hidden motives at work? Developing this awareness isn't about paranoia, it's about empowerment. The question isn't whether people will deceive you, it's whether you'll be prepared when they do. Number 2. Stay calm and grounded. Picture a sunny afternoon sitting by a calm lake. The water reflects the clear sky, undisturbed and serene. Now imagine tossing a pebble into that lake. The ripples spread but eventually fade, leaving the water still again. Staying calm and grounded in the face of deception is much like that lake. It's about allowing the initial ripple of emotions, but not letting them control the whole expanse of your mind. When someone deceives you, it's natural to feel anger, betrayal or even panic. These emotions are like storms threatening to cloud your judgment. However, remaining calm allows you to process the situation logically rather than emotionally. Think of a scenario where a co-worker takes credit for your idea in a meeting. Instead of reacting impulsively, staying grounded gives you the clarity to address the issue tactfully, ensuring your integrity shines through. Let's reflect on a nostalgic moment. Think of a time when you handled a tough situation with grace. Maybe it was a heated argument with a sibling where you chose understanding over anger, or a time you stayed composed during a tense work presentation. 
Those moments remind us that staying calm isn't about suppressing emotions, but mastering them. You've done it before, and you can do it again. Now let your curiosity lead you. What strategies could help you stay calm in even the most challenging situations? Could mindfulness or controlled breathing be the key? Imagine a future where, no matter the chaos, you remain the calmest person in the room. How would that transform your relationships, career, and inner peace? Staying grounded isn't just a skill, it's a superpower waiting to be unleashed. Number 3. Use strategic questioning. Imagine the thrill of a detective solving a case, piecing together clues with precision. Every question they ask isn't random but calculated, peeling back layers of mystery until the truth is revealed. Strategic questioning offers you the same power, helping you uncover deception and understand others on a deeper level. It's not about confrontation, but about curiosity and skill. Strategic questioning involves asking open-ended, non-accusatory questions to encourage the other person to reveal more than they intended. For instance, instead of asking, did you lie to me? You could say, can you walk me through what happened again? This approach shifts the focus away from blame and onto understanding, often leading to self-contradictions or further details that expose the truth. Think of it as gently pulling on a thread until the entire fabric unravels. Nostalgia takes us back to those childhood moments of endless why questions. Remember pestering your parents with questions about how the world works. That innate curiosity was your younger self's way of understanding the truth. Strategic questioning as an adult is a refined version of that same curiosity, directed, intentional, and immensely powerful. Now, let's spark some curiosity. How many layers of truth could you uncover if you asked the right questions? Imagine navigating a tricky work situation, a delicate conversation with a partner, or even a negotiation with a vendor. What secrets might you reveal? What connections might you strengthen? Strategic questioning isn't just a tactic. It's an art form that invites you to become both curious and compassionate. Number four, set firm boundaries. Imagine your life as a beautiful garden. In this garden, every flower, plant and tree represents aspects of your well-being your mental health, your time, your values. The key to keeping this garden flourishing is a sturdy fence your boundaries. Without it, weeds, disrespect, manipulation and toxic behaviors can creep in, threatening your peace. Setting firm boundaries is like tending to this garden with care and vigilance, ensuring your life remains a safe, nurturing space. At its essence, Boundaries define what you will and won't tolerate in your personal and professional relationships. They communicate your values and needs, creating clarity for yourself and others. For example, imagine a friend who constantly interrupts your plans with last-minute requests. By saying, I need advance notice to commit to plans, you assert your boundary, protecting your time while maintaining the relationship. Boundaries aren't about shutting people out, they're about teaching others how to treat you. Think back to a time when you lacked boundaries. Maybe you took on too many tasks at work, feeling overwhelmed but afraid to say no. Or perhaps you allowed someone to dismiss your feelings in a relationship. Reflecting on these moments can feel bittersweet, a mixture of frustration and growth. But these experiences also remind us of the power of boundaries. They're not just lines drawn in the sand, they're lessons learned, often through hardship. Now, let your curiosity take the lead. What would life look like if you set boundaries unapologetically? Imagine saying no without guilt or expressing your needs without fear of rejection. Picture relationships built on mutual respect rather than resentment. Setting firm boundaries isn't just an act of self-preservation. It's an act of self-love. It invites others to step into a space of honesty and accountability, enriching connections and creating room for authentic growth. 
Boundaries extend beyond interpersonal relationships. They apply to your time, energy and priorities. Think about your smartphone buzzing with notifications, pulling your attention in every direction. Establishing boundaries here might look like setting phone-free hours to focus on meaningful conversations or hobbies. These small acts of discipline can create enormous changes in how you feel, think and engage with the world. What about boundaries at work? Perhaps it's declining to respond to emails after hours or delegating tasks that aren't yours to handle. Professional boundaries don't make you a less dedicated employee, they make you a more balanced one. They prevent burnout and set the stage for sustainable success. It's not always easy. Setting boundaries can feel like a confrontation when you're used to people-pleasing. You might worry about being perceived as selfish or difficult, but consider this. Those who truly value you will respect your boundaries. Those who don't respect them reveal their priorities, and often it's not your well-being. This clarity, while sometimes painful, is a gift. It helps you invest in relationships that uplift rather than drain you. How do you start setting boundaries? It begins with self-awareness. Identify areas in your life where you feel overextended, disrespected or undervalued. Then communicate your boundaries clearly and kindly. For example, if a friend frequently calls late at night, you might say, I value our conversations, but I need to prioritize sleep. Let's catch up earlier in the day. This approach shows respect for both your needs and theirs. Enforcing boundaries is equally crucial. If someone oversteps, reaffirm your stance. You don't have to be harsh, but you do have to be firm. Consistency teaches others that your boundaries aren't negotiable. Over time, this consistency cultivates a sense of security and respect in your relationships. Finally, celebrate the victories big and small. Each time you set or enforce a boundary, you reclaim a piece of your peace and integrity. It's a journey of self-discovery and empowerment where you learn to prioritize what truly matters. Setting firm boundaries isn't just about saying no, it's about saying yes to yourself. Number five, prioritize your peace and integrity. Close your eyes and imagine a moment of pure peace. Perhaps it's sitting by the ocean, the rhythmic waves soothing your mind. Or maybe it's a quiet morning with your favorite book and a warm cup of coffee. These moments of peace are sacred, a reminder of what it feels like to be truly aligned with yourself. But in the chaos of daily life, peace and integrity often take a back seat. Prioritizing them means reclaiming this sense of calm and authenticity, no matter the circumstances. Peace isn't just the absence of conflict, it's the presence of harmony within yourself. It's about creating a life where your values, actions and relationships are in alignment. For instance, think about a time when you compromised your integrity. Perhaps agreeing to something that didn't feel right or staying silent when you should have spoken up. The discomfort you felt afterward wasn't just guilt, it was a disruption of your inner peace. To prioritize peace, start by examining what disturbs it. Is it toxic relationships, unrealistic expectations, negative self-talk? Identifying these triggers is the first step toward addressing them. For example, if you notice that social media leaves you feeling drained or inadequate, setting limits on your usage can restore a sense of balance. Or if a particular person constantly undermines your confidence, Creating distance might be necessary for your mental well-being. Integrity goes hand in hand with peace. It's about staying true to your principles, even when it's inconvenient or challenging. Consider a scenario at work where you're asked to bend the truth to close a deal. Saying no might be uncomfortable, but it preserves your integrity and prevents inner conflict. Integrity isn't just about honesty with others. It's about honesty with yourself. Reflect on a nostalgic moment when you felt completely at peace. Maybe it was a vacation where you disconnected from stress 
or a heartfelt conversation with someone who truly understood you. These moments remind us that peace and integrity aren't luxuries, they're necessities. They anchor us in a world that often pulls us in conflicting directions. Now imagine a life where peace and integrity are your guiding principles. What would change? Perhaps you'd approach relationships with more authenticity, letting go of those that don't serve your growth. Maybe you'd make decisions based on what feels right, not what's easiest or most expected. Picture the freedom of living without the weight of regrets or unresolved conflicts. Prioritizing peace doesn't mean avoiding challenges or difficult conversations. It means approaching them with clarity and compassion. For instance, if a family member's behavior disrupts your peace, addressing it might feel uncomfortable but necessary. Saying something like, I value our relationship, but I need us to communicate more respectfully, sets a tone of mutual respect and understanding. One of the most powerful ways to prioritize peace is by cultivating mindfulness. This practice helps you stay present, reducing the mental clutter that often disrupts inner harmony. Mindfulness can be as simple as taking a few deep breaths before responding to a stressful situation or spending five minutes a day in quiet reflection. Over time, these small practices create a profound sense of calm. Integrity requires courage. It asks you to make choices that align with your values, even when it's difficult. But the rewards are immense, a life free from the burden of pretending, a mind untroubled by unresolved guilt, and a heart at ease knowing you've stayed true to yourself. As you embark on this journey, remember that peace and integrity are ongoing practices, not destinations. There will be setbacks and moments of doubt, but each step forward brings you closer to the life you deserve. Prioritizing your peace and integrity isn't just a gift to yourself, it's a foundation for every relationship, decision, and experience you'll ever have. You've made it to the end, and that alone sets you apart. Most people never take the time to reflect on their boundaries, let alone prioritize their peace and integrity. But here you are, proving that you're ready to take control and build the life you deserve. Remember, protecting your peace isn't selfish, it's essential. Boundaries are the foundation of self-respect and authentic living, and you've already taken the first step by learning how to create them. Drop a hundred in the comments if you've watched this far. This shows you're part of the rare 0.01% who finish what they start. And if you're serious about transforming your life, don't let this be the end of your journey. Hit that subscribe button and join our community for more life-changing insights and strategies. Let's rise together.